Hello everyone, Coach Shane is back here for virtual incursion number 10. We've made it to double digits. Now, say hello like we always do, give us a shout out. We'll get to the shout outs a little bit later, but what I want you to do is say hi, and I want you to tell us how long or how many virtual incursions you've participated in so far. So if you started last week, this would be your second one. I wanna know, has anyone been there since the first one? Has anyone, anyone done all the incursions? That'd be crazy. So what we're gonna do first, before we get to all our friends, before we get to Coach Joel, before we get to Funky Monkey, before we get to our special guest, Coach Ash, we're gonna bring Mikey Monstar on the stage and we're gonna warm up, all right? Hey Mikey, how you going mate? Great work. So we're gonna start off Mikey, put your hands up in the air and then put your hands behind. And these are our hammy flicks. So you, you face forward, Mikey, I'll face on the side. And all we're gonna do, guys, is just flip our heels and touch our hands. Great work. And then I'll turn around so you can see behind there. We flick up, up, and then let's go a little bit faster, Mikey. Flick, 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 flick. Great work. Who can go super fast at home? And stop. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do 10 hammy flicks. So let's go 10, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, great work. Make sure at home we're using our big counting voices. Let's do six this time, ready Mikey? And let's go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh no, Coach Shane's gone too much. Sorry Mikey, we'll do six again. Let's listen, let's go, one, Two, three, four, five, six. There we go, that's better. Give yourselves a clap at home. Great work, Mikey. Now what we're gonna do, I know we're gonna get a little bit warmed up, we're gonna practice some frog jumps. So remember, when we're a frog, we've gotta have our feet shoulder width apart, our hands go in between our feet, and on the count of three, we're gonna jump as high as we can, but we have to land back in the frog. Ready, one, two, three. Rip it, and then back down. Great work, Mikey. Let's go again. One, two, three. Rip it. Oh, <laughs> great work. And remember, we're gonna say, what do frogs say at home? They say, rip it. <laughs> so let's go again, Mikey, ready? One, two, three. Rip it. <laughs> One, two, three. Rip it. One, two, three. Rip it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> well done, Mikey. Great work. All right, Mikey, what I want you to do, you can go grab our balls, but stay off this for a little bit because I'm just gonna do some burpees with the kids, okay? So we're gonna do burpees at home. So what we do is we get into the frog position. And remember, from here, we're going to put our feet out wide. So it's frog and then it's burpee. So our hands and our toes are the only parts touching the ground. Then we jump back to frog and we jump up. That's one. So then down the frog, out, hands and toes, touch the ground, back to frog. That's two, let's do three more. Frog, out, frog, up, frog. We'll call this a plank or a push up position. Frog, up, one more time, frog, push up, frog. Oh, great work. All right, I think Mikey's found our basketballs and our soccer ball. Thanks, Mikey. Anyone, I'll take this one. You take the basketball. So it can be any sort of round ball. Um, if you don't have like a basketball or a soccer ball, you can use like a tennis ball, you can use a piece of paper, because what we're going to start off with is controlling the ball like Spider-Man. So Mikey, we're going to put our ball on the ground. And who knows at home, what does Spider-Man do? <laughs> That's right, Mike. It's like this. Psst, psst, psst. So everyone spin their web. So we're gonna bend our knees, palms out, Mikey, face the forward, and just go forward and back with your palms. Psst, psst. And then we're gonna start controlling the ball. Let's go a little bit forward. Let's go, Mikey. Great work. Oh, great work, Mikey. You go up this way, Mikey. I'll go this. So you go that way. I'll go. Good work. Well done. Keep taking the ball at home. Great work. And then we'll turn around. Great work, Mikey. And then I'll go down the same way. You go up the same way. Ready, set, let's go. Keep your eye on the ball at home. Little taps. Because in, remember in basketball, so Mikey, in basketball, 
Are we allowed to use our, uh, come a little bit closer to me, Mike, over here. So in basketball, are we allowed to use our feet? No, <laughs> we have to use our hands. That's right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab our cones. I'm gonna make this game just a little bit trickier. So at home, you might have, what do we say? We might have pillows, you might have drink bottles, you might have little bits of paper on the ground. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna Spider-Man through our little objects here. So I'm gonna put them. So the aim of this game, Mikey, is not to touch any of the objects, okay? So come down with me, come down with my end, and he's gonna dribble Spider-Man around any of the cones, trying not to touch. Oh, great work. And then once you get to the end, so if you had a childcare at kindergarten, make sure we have all our children up one end and then they're going through all together. And then once they get to the other end, they pick their ball up. Great work, Mikey. And we're gonna do it one more time. Oh, here we go through. <laughs> great work, everyone at home. Oh, <laughs> great stuff. Great work, Mikey. We'll do it one more time for the kids at home, for the kids at childcare. Might, might have taken a bit longer to get into this game. So let's go one more time, Mikey. Whoa, watch out for the cones. Spider-Man, yes. Oh, great work, Mikey, great skills. <laughs> yeah, well done. Everyone at home, give yourselves a super, super big clap. Now, we're gonna need our cones and our uh, or if you had, if, as I said, if you're using like your drink bottles, so keep them close by because we're gonna use them soon. So I'll just drop them close by. But now what we're gonna do before we get to our coach Ash for some special yoga today, what we're gonna do is do our bouncing, but remember with one hand. So let's start. Even what we want you to do this time, instead of tapping the ball on the ground, I want you to put one hand under the ball, Mikey, one hand on top, and I just want you to tap the ball like that. Great work. Can you do that at home? And then other hand, swing it over, and then tap. So what we're gonna try to do, Mikey, is bounce the ball and keep it bouncing as many times as we can. You might only get two at home, you might get 10. But remember, we're gonna keep practicing. The more we practice, the better we're gonna get at that skill. Ready, Mikey? Set, let's go. Bounce, bounce. Great work, Mikey, keep your eye on the ball. Ready? Get ready, boom, yeah. Oh, keep your eye on the ball, Mikey, well done. Yes, great skills at home. Keep practicing. Eyes on the ball. Remember, we want to practice with both hands, Mikey. See if you can do the other hand. It might be a bit tricky. Oh, 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 sorry, Mikey. Oh, no, I'll get it for you. Great work. So keep practicing at home. We'll do this for a little bit more, and then we're going to combine both the tapping skill and the bouncing skill. So 20 more seconds at home, and then we're gonna finish off with one more game before we get to our yoga. Let's go. Ta, 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 ta. Great work, guys. Keep your eye on the ball. Tapping the, remember pushing the ball down into the ground. Now, if this one's a little bit hard, we can always practice our bounce and catch with two hands, can't we? So if you're finding the two, the one-handed bounce a bit tricky, see how Mikey's doing his bounce and catch? We can always do that. Great work. So what we're gonna do, Mikey, for this last game, so I'll go grab our cones or our drink bottles again. So if you're at a kinder, we're gonna get all the kids down one end again. So I'm just gonna set up, you can set up three or four, depending how much room you have. I'm gonna set up our cones. So one, two, three. And then so it should be a line, and then it should be another line about a meter, or you can do a little bit, if you've got more room than us, you can do a bit further than a meter. So what we're gonna do, if you watch Coach Shane, Mikey, I'm gonna dribble the ball, like, oh sorry, dribble. I'm gonna Spider-Man the ball, zigzag through the first lot of cones. Then I pick my ball up, and I'm gonna bounce back through. Does that make sense, Mikey? So I, you come and follow me. So I'm gonna Spider-Man. So let's go at home, Spider-Man up one side. And then you can bounce, remember you can bounce one hand or two hands. So you can bounce one hand or you can bounce two hands around. Let's go. Great work, Mikey. We'll go for one minute. So child cares, kindergartens, make sure you line up 
in a nice straight line and follow the person in front of you. Keep going, Mikey, let's go. Great work, good work. Dribble the ball through the cones. And then remember, you can do the one-handed or two-handed bounce, whatever you feel comfortable with. Great work, keep going. Great work, so yes, remember if you had a childcare or kindergarten, follow the person in front. And then if you get back to the line and there's still a child in your way, you gotta wait your turn. So you gotta use your patience. And then once it's your turn, we go again. Last turn, Mikey, let's go. Whoa, and then through the zigzags. Whoa, yes, oh no, I've done it wrong. Coach Shane's made a fumble. <laughs> there we go. Oh, finish off, Mikey, have your last turn. Great work. Well done, everyone. Give yourselves a super big clap. So a little bit of sport there. And now we've got our special, our special uh, coach coming in, our coach of yoga. Her name's Coach Ash. So I'm gonna see if we can find Coach Ash. I'll follow you, Mikey. Run off, go, go, go. Hey, Monsters. So today, I'm going to run you through a couple of my favorite yoga poses. So, to start off with, let's come into our mountain pose. This one is a really easy pose, I think, to get into. We start with our feet firmly on the, on the ground, with our legs feeling nice and strong. Maybe we can feel the floor underneath our feet. We bring our hands beside us, bringing our palms to face the sky. And we take a deep breath in. And a breath out. And we've just come into our mountain pose. Do we all feel like strong mountains? Now, how about we move into giving our backs a bit of a stretch? Let's come down to our happy cat and our sad cat pose. So we need to bring our knees to the floor. So gently, we're gonna come down to our mats. One knee on the floor, the second knee on the floor. Bring our toes underneath and we're gonna bring our hands out nicely in front of us. One hand, two hand. Our fingers spread firmly apart so they can hold up our body. And as we look up, we bend our back, we arch our back, I should say, and we bring our head gently forward and we're in happy cat, our tummy pointing to the ground. Where are those kitty cat sounds? Meow, meow, meow. But what happens if the cat starts to feel sad? We go into our sad cat pose. We bring our tummy up and we arch our back. We point our spine to the sky. We bring our head towards our mat. We're in our sad cat pose. Coming up to happy cat. Meow, meow. Oh no, something's made the cat feel a little bit upset. We bring our tummies in, we arch our back, our hands are keeping us strong. Oh, happy cat again. Okay, but all of a sudden our happy cat, I think spots a little puppy dog running, running around. So to come into our puppy dog, we keep our hands firmly on our mat. We're going to bring our toes underneath to help lift up our bodies. And one, two, three, we bring our bottoms up to the sky. We straighten our legs as much as we can. And all of a sudden, here comes that sneaky puppy that was trying to tease that happy cat. Woof, 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 woof. Don't forget to wag your tails in the air, guys. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, I see that cat still looking for that puppy dog. Oh, that's a nice stretch in the back of our legs. 
We might want to bring our knees forward and back. <sighs> oh, and as we bring ourselves forward and we straighten the back of our legs, we're in our plank pose. How quick was that, guys? Our arms nice and straight in front of us. <sighs> Holding up our bodies. Who can hold it? Who can hold it? Oh, I need to drop down and give myself a little bit of a rest. But as I'm lying here, all of a sudden, I hear something sneaking around in the grass. I wonder what this could be. One hand underneath our shoulder, the other hand underneath our shoulder. We lift our arms up. It's a cobra, a slithery, slimy cobra. Oh no, let's hide and come into our rock pose. We don't want the slithery, slimy cobra to see us. Oh, here he comes again into our cobra pose. Arms holding us up, guys. I can't hear that, guys. Where are your slithery, slimy cobras? Coming into our rock pose. We want to hide from the sneaky cobra. Oh, that's better. Safe and sound at last. But I wonder, maybe to hide even better, we can become nice, strong trees. So to get up into our tree position, let's bring one foot forward, our second foot forward. Hands nice and straight. Are we nice and tall? Do we have nice strong mountains? Let me see. Ah, there we go. Everyone's feeling nice and strong like a mountain. One leg, we're going to bring just gently on our calf. Oh, we've got a balance, guys. We've got a balance. If we can, let's bring our hands out in front of us. <sighs> When the wind comes and the trees start to wobble and they wobble and they wobble oh, and then we fall over that's what happens sometimes when the wind comes let's get back up and hop into our tree pose firmly on the ground bringing one leg to our calf if we can arms out in front of us what we call prayer position See if we can focus and hold our balance. This is certainly a tricky one. But sometimes the wind's going to come again and it's going to blow us all to the ground. Oh no, I don't think I can hold my tree. Oh, and the wind blew me over. But that's okay. Now that I'm sitting on the ground, maybe if I can fall into what we call our boat pose. Legs out nice and straight. Who's got nice and straight legs? Who's got a happy back on, meaning our back's nice and straight? Arms out nice in front of us. Nice and strong. Who's got nice straight arms in front of us? And we lean back slightly. Bring our legs up. Oh, this is good for our tummies. And maybe we do some rowing. Maybe we can row over to our friends. Maybe we're just going to row around. Or who can hold it? Nice steel boats. Ah, let's row our boats. Row, row, row. Nice steel boats. Let's row them again. Quick, let's have a race with our friends. Row, row, row. Ah, back to happy back. Now, to finish off our yoga and let our bodies calm down, let's cross our legs. Bring your hands on your knees, if that's how you're comfortable. Maybe just in front. Shut your eyes, if you're comfortable. And we're gonna take a breath in through our nose. And out through our mouths. Again. That feels better. 
Now, we have a very special yoga word that we say in yoga. Bring your hands together and we say Namaste. Well done, Monstars. That was our first yoga. team we're gonna get to music in just a minute everyone grab a drink of water great work with the yoga there grab a drink of water and give us a few shout outs who we got in today thanks for watching team we'll be back in one minute All right. Good work, team. Now we've got our friend, the Funky Monkey, here today. Oh, Funky's gonna help us out with some music. Great work, Funky. Now, Funky Monkey's ready to dance today. We're gonna learn, to start with, to warm up our bodies, we're gonna do the difference between high sound and low sound, okay? So, who can say, hi? That's it, and we reach for the sky. And then who can say, low? And then we go down low, back to high and low. Now, can you hear the difference there, Funky? We got our difference, so it's a real low sound, isn't it, that one? Low, which makes us want to go low. And then the opposite of low is high. Good work, so I'm gonna test you, okay, now? I'm gonna do all different ones, you have to let me know. Then see if you can keep up at home, okay? Here we go. Oh, very good. That's it. Oh, very good. How low can you get? I don't even know we can see you that low. <laughs> Great work there. That's what we like. And yeah, that's it. How about higher? Higher, higher, higher. And low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high. Ah, oh, did you guys keep out there? Give yourself a big clap. Great work, monkey, monkey. Now today, we're gonna do our tempo game, okay? So over the weeks now, we should know what our tempo is. The tempo is the difference between a fast song and a slow song. So. If we were to have a slow song, would we dance fast or slow? We would dance... What if it's like this? That's it, we would dance slow. What if it was like this? Yeah, you've got it down, Funky. So I'm gonna test you guys out there. Depending on how fast I play is how we dance today. I want to see your best dance moves, okay? So, here we go. Let's start with... And that's it. When the music stops, we freeze like a statue. Let's try that again. What about this one?
on, give yourself a big clap out there. Great work, Funky. Now, we can do the same thing with our drums, can't we? So, if I place the guitar over here, that's it. So, depending on where we drum, if it's a fast song, we drum fast. So, can we get the knees? If it's a slow song, we drum slow. Oh, so now we know our tempo, let's listen out. And the first one we're gonna do on our knees, it's gonna be slow. Rain is pouring on the world today. And fast. Puss. And the next one's gonna be on our feet. Slow. Rain is pouring oh, on good stretch. the world today. And fast. Puss. Back to our statue, great work. How about on our elbows? Slow. Fast! Hey everybody. And we are the now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play a fast one, but we're gonna do different parts of our body, okay? So hands to the sky, waiting for the song. Let's start with heads. We are the mini monsters. Shoulders. We like to play our sports Knees. and rock with our guitars. We love Belly. to exercise Ears. and keep the room Nose. jumping. That's our favourite monkey, our bass player Heads. funky. Eyes, legs, and pause. Give yourself a big clap. Fantastic work. All right, Funky, thanks for your help today. Great work. All right. Now, grab yourself another drink of water. We'll do a few more shout outs and we'll see what we've got next with Coach Shane. Great work, team. All right, guys, now, great work. So, while we have a quick little break before our last part of sport, we went across to our friend, Coach Riley, who is the orange monster. She's gonna sing us a bit of a song, okay? So, Coach Riley, there we go. You start that song for everyone else out there. Great work, team, let's listen up, and then we'll be back with Coach Shane. Rule number one. Don't be mean to dogs. Rule number two, be kind to me and you, and always brush your teeth and look both ways before crossing the street, and always brush your teeth and never be mean to dogs. Rule number three, try and save the bees. Rule number four, don't drop your rubbish on the floor and always brush your teeth and look both ways before crossing the street. Always brush your teeth and never be mean to dogs. And when we're out and about, it's a good idea to think about the way we treat each other so always brush your teeth and look both ways when you cross the street oh always brush your teeth and never be 
Great Mains to Dogs. <laughs> that was awesome. Great work, Coach Riley. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's a nice little song there, Coach Riley in the park. So we're gonna need all to grab our balls again. Remember, it's a round ball because we're playing basketball. So if you've got a tennis ball, if you've got a basketball, that's awesome. Soccer ball, any sort of round ball will do. And what we're gonna do is get into our basketball shooting that we learned last week. So let's all remember when we do it, we need to have our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna grab our ball and with your loud voices, I want you to repeat after Coach Shane. So we all say, soldier. Great work. Then we all say, arms up. Great work. And then we all say, bend our knees. So if you see, I'm on the side. And then remember, we shoot like a rainbow. Now a rainbow goes up and down. Can everyone say it together? It goes up and down. So that's how we shoot our basketball. So we're all like this, ready to go. And we all together, rainbow. Great work. Let's try that again. Grab your ball, run back. And we'll wait for our friends out the child cares and kindergartens to all make it back. So remember, if you are at a childcare in a kindergarten, um, hope you guys are having fun. Say hi, send us an email, we'd love to hear from you. But if you are there, make sure all the kids are down one end. So when they shoot, they're not shooting into any of their friends. Okay, so let's all head down to one end. We're gonna do it again with our loud voices. Everyone say, soldier. Great work. And we all say, arms up. Bend our knees. And rainbow! <laughs> yes! I grab my ball. Let's all grab. All right, great work. So, what I want you to do is you probably only need, if you're at a childcare kinder, you might need a couple of targets. Um, but if not, I'm just going to put, if you're just at home, you're only going to need one target that we're going to try to shoot for. So, I'll put all these cones on top of each other. I'll place that there. I might move it back a bit. Place that there. And then the aim of this game is to shoot the ball, but remember, it has to go like a rainbow. So it has to go up and then down, hitting the, uh, hitting the, um, the object. Or if you've got like a basket at home, that'd be awesome. Because then you can throw, we can uh, shoot the ball into the basket. But what we're gonna do, so all at one end, everyone say, soldier. And then we all say, arms up. Bend our knees and rainbow. So it's up. Oh, Coach Shane's missed it. Oh, he's going to have to run and grab his ball. <laughs> and then run back. Oh, great work, everyone. So grab your ball, run back to your starting position. We'll do it one more time. So remember the rainbow, it's up and down. We don't want to shoot the ball straight down because normally, our basketball ring or our basketball target is a lot higher than this. So that's why we have to shoot up and down. All right, let's go here. Ready? Soldier, arms up, bend your knees, rainbows. Oh, so close. Oh, grab your ball, run back, and let's go again. Soldier, arms up, bend your knees. Oh, so close. All right, we're gonna do one more skill with our basketball shooting. So. If you've got one target at home, let's put this other one. So I'm gonna get some, I'll put one of these, and then I'll just put that about here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna run and bounce the ball to this cone here, or this object, and then I'm gonna shoot my ball, trying to aim for our target, okay? So obviously, if you've got more space at home, you can make it bigger. If you're outside, you can make it even bigger. Um, but yeah, let's go. So everyone down one end, and we go, bounce, 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 all the way to our target. When we get to our target, soldier, bend your knees, rainbow. Oh. <laughs> Grab your ball. If you had a childcare in kindergarten, make sure all the kids are at one end and maybe spread out a few of your uh, targets so there's more than just one so they can shoot at uh, multiple objects. So let's go again, let's run back. Grab your ball, let's go again. Remember, you can bounce with one hand, or you can bounce with like this, or you can bounce two hand catch. Let's go, oh no, all the way to our target. Stop, bend your knees, rainbow. Oh, grab your ball, 
Last time. Let's go one more time, everyone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So. Oh, ha, ha. Oh, great work, everyone. Give yourselves a super big clap. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my objects out the way. Make sure you clear all your space. We're gonna get, uh, put your balls down on the ground and we're gonna finish off with a big, big dance. I'm gonna bring my friend Mikey Monstar back out here. Thanks for playing, Mikey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna bring my friend Coach Joel and we're gonna dance at home. Everyone say goodbye, make sure you leave. Some more comments. We're gonna do a shout out at the end of this, so make sure you do it and please share the video. And if you're watching us on YouTube, like the page, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We're gonna go with our lesson rights, with our feet, let's go, right. With the air left. like I don't care, baby, by the way. Great work, everyone. Star jumps. Oh. along if you feel like a room without room. Let's go, star jumps. Right. Can we cut that one? Oh, let's go again. Let's do four clap. Two and then two. Go. Clap one more time. If you feel like that's what you want to do. Ready? Now that's right. News, Honey. Well, give me all you got. And the spin. Yeah, dance move for us, y'all. Dance down. Oh, side to side. Let's try to get in rhythm. Ready? We'll go with Mike. You go, Mike. We'll follow you. If you feel like a room with eyes. Oh, bye, bye, bye. Come along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Go ahead. Come along if you know what happiness is to you. Hope you had a great time today. Remember, say hello. Tell us what your favourite part was. Incursion number 10 in the books. Share the video, all that fun stuff. Hope you have a great week. See you later.